Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, if you are new here. And if you are new, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be doing this Camellia Rose Almond. Hi, that's what I'm thinking. Chai, hi, I don't know. I'm going to be using that as a wash and go because the last time when I did a twist with it, this is a twisting butter. I thought it would work really well as a wash and go. I was going to pair it with a gel, but every gel I try to see what it mush with, it was like, nope, it won't do it. So I'm gonna try it with this foam. Hopefully we will not get any flaking. And I know it's a butter, but I wanted to try it as a wash and go. Then it might flake on me, but I still want to try it as a wash and go. Couple of pump. Oh, let me show you what I'm using with it. Mish Set Curl Defining Mousse. I will be getting up under the dryer to set them together, you know, like I do. I don't always get up under the dryer, but um, lately I have been getting under the dryer a lot to dry my hair. And let me tell you why. One person said, one person, oh, they said it gives you the professional look. But I also had something I was trying. Is it this one? It was some product actually tell you to let it air dry, not to go into the dryer. And if it say that, I will not. Look, didn't I told you guys? Look at those curls. And I know it is real soon after I've tried this as a twist that I'm coming back using her product again. But I really wanted to see what would it look like as a wash and go. And since it will still be on your mind if you watch that video, what would it look like? Why not do it now, right? And if you're new here and you missed that video, or you one of the, or if you're one of my oldie but goodies. I will have a link in the cards or in the description. And that twist out video would have came out before this one. It would have came out way before this one. So far, so good. It looks beautiful. I want to try. I know it's going to flake. I know it's going to flake, so I ain't even going to try because it was not. I've already applied some stuff on my hair. I will have it in the description below. The shampoo that I use, the oil that I use, the leave-in conditioner that I use, all of that will be in the description. Not using that much. But you see, it do, I hope it do well. But you know, well, she's gonna test this. Not only today will we see day one, but I'm gonna test it up to day three or five. So you can see what it looked like after the first day. 
Because sometimes the first day be looking, mm, mm, and then it goes downhill from there. <laughs> so I like to show you what it did on my hair throughout the week. You know what I think too? I've been reading a newsletter that I get from the Vitiligo community. Community? I've been reading to see they ain't have enough data come in for it yet. But I truly believe, I think it, I don't know. But where it's coming, where my hair, because you know my hair thinned out really bad from having the CV-19. It's um, seen like the vitiligo spread it a little bit more in my scalp. Like, I think my whole scalp is like completely white. It was white before, but it seemed like it's spreading more. You see what I'm saying? It's coming farther in the face. I love the way this butter feels but I don't know is it gonna mix well with this it's not it didn't say wash and go it said for twist let me look on the job make sure I don't see my reading glasses so I think I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more mousse because as I was doing this, I remember my Michelle from Mish said, saturate the hair with this mousse. What I'm looking for this to do is to, to find a curl and, and just mm, give it another little kick. Because I have tried this mousse without this, without anything. So you can use it. It didn't say it have to only be for a twist out. You can use it for anything else. So this wash and go should be really nice. Let's take a look. Camille. I never get this right. Camille and Niche. I love them both separate. So I hope they don't disappoint together. I'll be back once my hair is dry and that will be day one. Now I'm gonna come back and let you guys see it all over. Then I'll go into the dryer and that'll be day one. Okay guys, I am back with everything all over my hair and it's looking pretty nice so far. Let's get a 360. I will be back once my hair dry. And that should be like a second for you guys. Okay guys, I am back and my hair is 100% dry. They seem to have played very well together. Look at it. So defined. So defined. You know what I didn't think about? It was 98 degrees getting up on the hair dryer. Couldn't stand it alone. Well, I will see you on day three and maybe five. Okay guys, I am back and it's day three. And she is looking beautiful. That Camille Rose. works as a wash and go with the mesh set together. Oh, my hair feels so good and light and moisturized. I know this is gonna be a perfect hair day and I got it wet yesterday <laughs> in the rain. So guys, I'll see you on the fifth day and let you see what it looked like then and that'll be the final day. See you then. 
Hi guys, I am back and it is day five with the wash and go using the Camille Rose something and the Mish foam. This is one of the best wash and goes. I have done these two as a combo works really really well and I like them together look day five day five it's touchable it's soft it's fluffy it's still moisturizing both of those are really good and I like them separate I like the Camille Rose with the twist uh, twist out and I like the foam by Mish with um, a wash and go and I've tried it with a twist out and these both together is is a perfect pairing to me it worked really well on my hair yes it did I will see you in my next upload and if you are new here welcome to the family and if you like what you see and you want to see more, check out these two videos right here.